this is Skyrinux running on my Android phone with Termux and Termux X11. Skyrinux or NetHunter for mobile devices being one of the most popular Linux distro and running it by Termux X11 is more interesting. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. So first we'll do pkg update to update the repositories. Then we need to install wget. Now we'll head over to NetHunter rootless site. And if we scroll down a bit, here we have commands to install NetHunter. The first command is to access your device internal storage through NetHunter. You can do if you want that. But for now we don't need it. And the second command to install wget which we already did. So we'll copy this third command and we'll get back to Termux, paste it and enter. And if we ls here, here is the installation script. So we'll do bash and the script. Now here you have to select any one of these. I would recommend you should go with full variant as it has everything pre-configured for you. But if you have things like storage issue, you could go with mini as the full variant requires at least 8 gigs of free space. I made a dedicated video on that, you could check that out. But for now, we'll go with full. This will take some time and till that time, you can subscribe to the channel. And it's done. And asking if you want to delete the downloaded rootfs. So we don't need that anymore. So we'll say Y to it. And that's it. Carina Hunter has been installed. And here are some commands you can have a look at. For now, we'll quickly log in to NetHunter with NH or short form for NetHunter. And now we'll do apt update to update the repositories. And here we have an error. So to fix it, we'll use nano to edit this file. And at the last of this file, this is the reason for that error. Here, DNS server is not properly configured. So we'll use Control k to remove these two lines. And also remove this path. And we'll write cloudfast DNS server which is 1.1.1.1. You don't need to specifically use this. You could also use Google's DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 .8 but I like Cloudfire so we'll go with that. And now we'll save the file with Ctrl X Y and enter. And if we again try to apt update, it's working. Now to access GUI, we can use the VNC server for which you just need to execute kex and connect to it with any VNC client. But here we'll be using Termux X11. For that we'll exit from here and we need to edit login script for NetHunter. So we'll execute nano and the login script. Scroll down a bit and here after this line hit enter and write following. Hit tab dash b for bind and this path. This will share Termux TMP directory with NetHunter TMP directory. We need to do this as Termux X11 uses Termux TMP directory for storing VLAN socket. Don't worry, you don't need to get deep into it. So now we'll install X11 repo and then we'll do pkg install Termux X11 nightly dash y to install Termux X11 package. Now we'll head over to Termux X11 GitHub page and here click on releases. Here we need to download Termux X11 APK file according to the device architecture. To know the device architecture, execute this command in Termux. Or you can just download the universal APK which will work for both architectures. I know mine is ARM64 or R64 so we'll download it and then install it as you install any other apk file. Open it. Now get back to Termux. 
and here we need to do a final step so execute nano and this file and here uncomment this line by removing the hashtag then save it with control x y and enter now we'll start tumux x11 with tumux x11 colon 1 which is our display number then swipe left and create a new session now we'll log in to NetHunter. As we use display1 with Termux X11, we need to specify that here. So just execute following. And now to start GUI, execute dbus launch xfce4 session. And here dbus is not installed. In that case, just install it with app install dbus x11. Then just execute this command again and go to Termux X11 app. And here is carry Nuts GUI running on Termux X11.